I think we're live. Mmm. Oh yeah. Jamming. All right, so for questions, make sure you visit createxttech.com. If you have, you know, questions about the paint, make sure you hit them up. Uh, remember, we're here every Thursdays uh, doing some new art. Obviously, next Thursday is the HD stencils promo, so I hope you're ready. As always, consider joining us, the Skull Squad down below. Helps bring you more videos like this. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoy these videos, we like the airbrush how to's and all that it helps bring you stuff like that as also you get cool perks and all that so make sure you click that join button check it out as always we're just gonna go ahead and get started real quick Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. So what's up everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving out there. I got a load of turkey in me. I'm feeling good. It's a pretty good meal. Um, obviously we're doing the, the quarantine style Thanksgiving, just us. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a good one. Hopefully you're having a good meal. Um, and in these times, I know a lot of people like to shop and they're looking for stuff to get for their little airbrush endeavor. Um, whether it's for you or for that airbrusher in your life, um, just gonna run over some quick recommendations of some cool stuff that you can get uh, that'll make them really happy around the holidays time, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is, whether you just wanna get them something nice. This is a, a pretty good list. So as always, uh, yeah. Thank you. What's up, James Melton? Happy Thanksgiving, sir. What's up, Justice? What up, what up, Skull Squad? Um, so, I again, all these links are down in the description of the video. You'll find all the links. Using those links uh, helps give the channel, um, gives like a little kickback to the channel every time you buy something using one of those links. So I appreciate if you use them. It also makes it really easy to just find stuff. If you just go down there, they're like labeled. You just click on the one you want, and it'll take you to that. So. Anyway, we're going to start going down our links here um, and starting with an airbrush that's pretty cheap. And uh, this is something I would probably recommend for like a teenager or like uh, maybe you have somebody that's been watching a lot of airbrush videos and, you know, they just want to try it. They don't know if they're going to like it yet. Maybe you're just trying to get somebody to, you know, expose them to it, whatever it is. At $30 um, for a Master G22 and it comes with three different needle sizes and nozzles. Um, it's it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good deal. It's a, it's a really low barrier to entry, low cost, um, and they work pretty good. I, I still have some here that I use. Um, I spray certain colors through them and stuff like that. As long as you keep them clean and you know you don't break it somehow, it works. It works. It's not like the best, but it works. And if you're just trying to get like simple color, you know, blends and stuff like that. It's a good enough airbrush to, uh, you know, get you through those little tough times and get somebody started, really. So, oh yeah, James coming in with all them skulls. So moving on to our next link here. And so if you have somebody who's uh, maybe already, you know, has like a, a, a cheap airbrush, maybe they bought one at the, you know, Harbor Freight or something and that you could see they're really trying and you want to get them something good, um, next up would be like an Iwata Revolution um, CR here. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive, right? They're a hundred bucks, um, but as far as quality goes and you know how long it'll last somebody, like one of these, as long as they keep it clean and, and really do the maintenance on it and um, you know don't damage it somehow again, it'll really last like you know a lifetime really. So <clears throat> this is really one that I recommend. I've tried them. I've tried all the airbrushes from zero dollars to a hundred dollars. I would just go with the hundred dollar airbrush. You know, if, 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 if you've already tried airbrushing and you like it, right. Or, or if you see somebody that's already tried it and they're just, you know, they don't like their tools. This is a good tool to get them a hundred dollars. And as long as they have the hose and everything, bam, you know, they're set to go. So 
that's what I would recommend. And then lastly, of course, um, maybe you have somebody, that, again, maybe you have a little bit bigger wallet. Maybe you have somebody, your significant other that's already has, you know, maybe a few airbrushes. You're not sure what they have or something, but you want to get them something nice. An Iwata Eclipse HPCS is always a good, good go-to. Anything more than that, like if they're already pros and they already have like really specific airbrushes, I would just just forget the airbrushes altogether and let them pick their own airbrush at that point because they're going to know what they want and what they want to see. So, but other than that, if you want to get something, you know, high quality for your, for the person you're getting it for or for yourself an HPCS, is, you can't go wrong. It has a little bit finer needle. It's built a little bit differently than the, the revolution. So it's, it's easier to maintain. It's harder to damage. Um, and you know, it'll just last overall long, longer, even after use, after use, after use, it's pretty reliable. So, What's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going, man? Happy Thanksgiving to you. All right, so then moving on to the compressors. Um, so a lot of people always ask, like, what kind of compressor should I get? What kind of compressor should I get? And I always tell people to get something with a tank, right? Even if it's a small tank, get something with a tank. And something that I could personally vouch for and stand behind is this compressor right here. It is the California Air Tools 1P1060S. Um, it's a light, it's literally light. It's like 15, 20 pounds, maybe a little bit heavier, uh, maybe like 30 pounds. It's not that heavy though. You could carry it with one arm and um, it's really quiet. You could talk over it pretty easy. I use it like inside of malls whenever I'm doing like a little events for like Ugg boots or whatever like that, face painting, stuff like that where I'm in a indoor crowded area and you can't have them, you know? you want something nice and quiet or maybe you're just living in an apartment and you want to get something that they're not going to wake up the whole apartment building with these california air tools are really nice and quiet they do make some noise but it's not you know like i said somebody talking is probably going to be a lot louder than it and again this comes in at 112 bucks um they've kind of gone up in price a little bit since i first uh mentioned these uh, but again it's because you know, they're worth their weight in gold, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then moving up from there, you know, if, if maybe you, you want to get them something bigger, you know, they're going to be spraying bigger projects. Maybe they're going to be doing uh, lots of shirts and stuff like that, where they're going to be spraying at higher pressure um, more consistently. You're going to need something with a bigger tank um, to fulfill that, that air need. Um, so something like this, uh, the same, the California Air Tools, 8010 um, with it has a 10 uh, 8 gallon tank one horsepower it, it's it's gonna work pretty good I haven't personally used this one but based off the specs and based off my experience with the one I have over there um, you know I could I could recommend this easily um, so yeah then moving on from there again if you have somebody that's just learning and and they don't know what to get I have a linked the primary paint set for createx there's one that comes with a how to begin airbrushing dvd by kent lind i highly recommend you, you watch this video you use these paints you get good with them just straight out of the bottle the regular createx they're good for a lot of stuff you could use them on shirts keep pressing on the shirt lasts forever you can use them for artwork you can use them like you could use them for a lot of stuff these are really good paints um you know and if you're just starting out, a little set like this with all the colors just makes it really nice and easy. Um, you know, it's a no-brainer, really. <clears throat> now, if you have somebody that already has maybe you know a few bottles here and there, but you're not sure what they have and you want to get them like a bigger set, I also linked out this 22 colors set. Again, it's a little bit pricier, hundred bucks, but with this set and it comes with a nice big bottle of airbrush cleaner. Um, you know, it has fluorescence, it has transparency, it has pearl colors in there. So they'll be able to play around with the different styles. They'll be able to lay a, a pearl base coat, lay some artwork over it, you know, and, and play around with it more, especially if they already have like some paints that they fool around with. A little set like this could really expand what they're doing because it has, you know, like I said, the fluorescence and the pearlized included in there so that you could kind of give yourself a little more stretch of, of what you're able to accomplish or what you can do. So that's why I recommend this 22 colors. 
Um, and then other than that, if you know, we got the 36 colors, obviously, if you just want to spend a little bit more money. And then if you got somebody that's like already doing artwork and you just don't know like, you know, what colors or whatever, this candy set right here, it's a two ounce complete candy set. It comes with bleed checker and some 4030 so that you can mix up some candies. I don't know any artist that wouldn't get a candy set and go, whoa, let me try this on something, right? Every, we're all gonna wanna see this. We're all gonna wanna try it. It's $100, but it's a complete set. And anybody opening this, like their eyes are gonna be like, what? The whole set, you know, it's gonna be dope. So yeah, this is something I, I highly recommend um, to anybody. I have the candy set over here. And yeah, like it's just awesome to use on a lot of stuff whether you're just putting a, a, you know, a nice candy coat over something covering the artwork, or whether you just wanna give something some tones or a really nice blend or laying it over metallic so that you get really vibrant, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Reflection of the light, you know, light reflection. Um, it's, it's a really good set right here, the candy set. You can't go wrong with that. Um, then I also put links to reducer and 4050 clear down there, again, any of these sets, even if you don't get them a set, even if you just see that they have a lot of paint, that reducer and that 4050 um, will also, again, in its own, expand to kind of what the artist is able to do, especially putting a, a top coat on stuff. There's a lot of people that don't really do that, and, and that top coat's pretty durable. Even though they recommend you use a 2K clear over it, um, you could, I would, re I used it on masks and like controllers and stuff and it's held up pretty fine like even with people touching it on my mailbox it sits outside in the sun all day it's still shiny it still looks good so you know that clear is just pretty good moving on from there if you have you know an artist that's again just starting out and that you just see them struggling propping stuff up but we're using you know whatever they can find a good easel is a good way to alleviate that and it'll go a long way so down there, I've linked this easel. It's the same one that I have. It's a little portable aluminum easel and you're able to just take it everywhere. It folds up. You can use it on a table. You could extend it and use it on the ground. It's adjustable. So if the ground's not level, you can, you know, set it. You could extend this little bar in the middle to where you want it. It's just, you know, nice to have. You could put your stuff on it, paint, and, and you know, you could be standing in a nice, comfortable position. Not, you know, I see a lot of artists working down like this or something like that, which is just not, comfortable so you want to work at a nice you know keep your back nice you want to keep your arms and your your wrists nice you know you don't want to be crooked so this helps a lot with that um also with paint spills and stuff like that it's just nice having an easel to put your stuff on um so highly recommend um then from there right like if you if you got some another airbrush artist um, that may maybe starting out down here i have this same stand is a cheap cheap little buy 12 bucks maybe it's like your uncle or something you just don't know what to, what to get him but you see that he airbrushes every now and then one of these stands super handy no matter who you are get yourself one of these stands and your airbrush it makes your setup look real nice and your airbrushes are like nice and secure because it, it holds them pretty good so one of these stands is, is i could see anybody appreciating that if they're into airbrushing then from there, I would recommend one of these, right? So I, they were out of the exact one that I bought and, and I've been using here. Um, but this one here is really similar. And this one actually has an oil trap built in too. So it's a moisture trap and oil trap for your airline. So you could hook it up onto your compressor or onto your, um, at the end of your air hose. And you know, from here you could hook up your airbrushes and it'll catch moisture or any oil left over in your air as it's going through the line. Highly recommend for any airbrush artist, no matter what, who or what, they're gonna see a moisture trap. They're gonna be like, yeah, I could use that. Whether it's just to replace the old one that they've had forever, or whether they don't have one, because a lot of, you know, like that compressor I mentioned earlier, doesn't come with one built in. So if you could build one, get one, you know, for their compressor, they're gonna appreciate it all the way. And it helps a lot with like, you know, getting splatters, splits, anything like that in your paint. You want nice dry air. I can't stress that enough. You want nice clean air. And this will help you do that. And it's on sale right now. It's, it's like, what, $8 off, $6 off right now. So 
26 bucks. I mean, again, for, you know, you have somebody that just, you don't know what to get them. Now, if you have somebody that's already airbrushing a lot and maybe you live inside, like in an apartment again, or if you, they don't have like a, a dedicated area, like a garage, like I do, uh, to be able to spray. Um, and maybe they're like, you know, in a little hobby area or something. One of these little spray booths, man, mint. Uh, it even comes with an extendable hose so that you could set the, the exhaust outside of your window or wherever you are so you don't have to get fumes or, or you know, the overspray all up into your area. Not necessary anymore. You could, you know, have one of these little spray booths. It has a filter built in and it has exhaust so that it'll, you know, take it out of where you're spraying. So if you're spraying little miniatures, um, you know, RC bodies, anything like that, and you're doing it inside, you're gonna really wanna clear out that air. You'll notice right away, you'll get overspray and you'll get a big old clouds. Having a nice uh, little setup like this uh, makes it easy. And nowadays, you know, it's $120. Uh, so that, that, it's cheap, like all things considered for a spray booth, 120 bucks is cheap. Um, you could try to make one yourself using fans and filters and all this. Um, but at the end of the day, with the amount of time you're going to end up spending and your contraption is going to look probably not as clean as this. So, you know, this has lights built in, it has the fan, it has a little stand for your, your painting. Like, you can't beat this, right? So, for 120 bucks, it's like a premium gift for any airbrush artist out there again. So, if you have somebody that's already painting and you see them doing a lot of stuff, but you see kind of their areas where it's starting to get messy from all the overspray, Bam, solve their problem right here. They'll open this, their eyes are gonna light up. Bro, I, I'd be, ah, you know? So, um, then from there, you know, I got some canvases linked. Uh, these are 16 by 20, it's a five pack for 20, $24 here. And what I noticed on these that they said, why I'm recommending these is because these are triple Yeso primed. And it says right on there, they're suitable for oil and acrylic. Um, so they're nice cotton. They're already primered, the gesso primered. So they're ready to spray. You can just take it out, take off the plastic, go ahead and spray. You can smooth it out and everything if you want to, but you don't have to. So these are already ready. Um, and that's why I recommend those five pack for 24 bucks. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, other than that, cutting mat, right? So this is like a, you wouldn't expect like a, a airbrush artist to want this, but a cutting mat and X-Acto blades, um, you know, for stencils, I have linked down below. So this is the exact cutting mat that I have. It's I've had it for like a couple more than a couple of years now, and it the surface is weird because you can cut into it, but it kind of like um, the cuts are so fine that they kind of just like it seems like they just go back together. It's kind of weird but it, I haven't actually cut through it or like made any damage to it. I've painted on it, but <laughs> that's a whole different story. Um, X-Acto blades. So you could go on Amazon, right? And you could type in X-Acto knife and it'll give you like, oh yeah, the, the knife with 60 blades. Word of caution here, you wanna get good blades because one of these X-Acto knife blades will probably last you a lot longer than like maybe 10 of those other blades. Because when you're cutting with these, it's it's really sharp and you don't really have to put that much pressure. When you use those cheap blades, take it from somebody who's, I've tried the cheap blades, my guy. And uh, as soon as you put any pressure or anything like that, the, either the blades start bending and or they get really dull right away as you're trying to cut. Because you have to, like they're not as sharp, so you have to kind of like put more pressure to get cuts um, done. So I would recommend just Go ahead, stick with the Exacto knife brand. Get yourself this pack, it, 10 bucks. It comes with five extra blades and, and the blade handle, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. And then from there, I also link some stencil sheets. So, you know, we all like making stencils. There's nothing like making your own. These are nice uh, 12 by 12 Mylar um, ready stencil sheets that you could put your design on, cut it out, and, you know, have a nice stencil with. So there's those. And last but not least, um, any, I, I guess I shouldn't say any, but if you have an artist that maybe likes to do, even if he's not airbrushing, but any artist that likes to do walls or maybe shirts, um, bigger stuff, right? Like he wants to cover the whole front of the shirt. He wants to cover a whole big wall. He wants to do big, you know, um, 
a projector like this. And this is the exact same one that I have. So I could vouch for this one. It's on sale right now. Um, was it $17 off right now? Um, and you can go and get this. It's really bright, so you can use it. It, uh, it doesn't even have to be a dark room. I could probably turn it on in here, and even with all these lights, it would give me a pretty clear picture that I could work on this win on this wall here. It's it's a really bright projector. It's really clear. I think it's actually 720p. It says full HD 1080p, but the the image itself I think is only 720p. But it's really bright, and it's um, I'd recommend it. It's like really good. Um, and any artist you know knows how to use a projector they draw their image small right then you, you just load it up onto the projector and then the projector does the blowing it up for you you just go you trace it and your design that you drew you know on your notepad or whatever then you have that design nice and big so that you could work on it later bigger um, same for portraits or anything like that so you can use it in a variety of ways um, for artwork not just not to mention like you know you can use it for watching movies or whatever but as far as uh, artwork goes uh, a nice projector that um, you know you're not going to be too worried about breaking um, because I know there's super expensive projectors you don't want to be moving around and and you know dropping or anything like that one like this it's not as expensive you're going to worry about a little bit right you don't want to break it obviously but you know you won't be so worried if, if you end up do breaking it so there you go guys there's my airbrush buyer's guide um i think there's a few other links for a few other things down there um odds and ends um so yeah as always uh what else i feel like i'm forgetting something uh no i think that's it i think i think we covered it all um so as always thank you guys all for watching i hope this video helps some of you guys out even if you're already airbrushing, you're just worried, wondering what to get. Maybe you have some money or something. Um, here's a good recommendation list. I know a lot of people um, m message me asking what to get their person that has been watching my videos, but they don't know what they should get them, and they don't want to like straight up just ask them. And my I have so many videos that it's confusing. So I get a couple emails, and that's why I did this video last year. And this year, I've gotten a couple emails like that. So. Here it is again, um, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out uh, kind of get the right kind of stuff, right? Because there's there's so much, like, you type airbrush into Amazon, eBay, anywhere, and there's just so much. Obviously, all my links are on Amazon because <clears throat> we get a kickback, like I said. So I appreciate it if you guys use those links. As always, uh, thank you guys to everybody. Thank you guys to everybody. Thank you guys for uh, all the support. Um, as always, remember you can join the Soul School Squad if you like seeing videos like this. If you wanna see more videos like this, you wanna see more how-to airbrush videos and just more advice in general. Uh, you know, joining the channel even on the $2 tier, it helps. Like next week we're having the HD stencils promo on Thursday. I'm probably gonna do a stream be between here and then or a video of some sort, I don't know. Um, but I have a little bit of time there to chop up and then on Thursday, on the 3rd, we're going to come do the HD stencils lesson. A lot of people are already on the Discord. Again, down below, you'll find a link to the Discord. And uh, over on the Discord, people are already showing us um, how they're receiving theirs. So, shout out to Createx for providing paint for the channel. And shout out to Super Clean for also providing cleaning products for the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Again, hope all of you had a happy Thanksgiving. I'll get out of your hair. Have a good one, and yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>